Hello there, this is Joe again from IC Group and in today's short video I would like to show you how to implement the MDI uh, format with a web page application. So what we're going to do is, first of all, we're selecting a new project and in this case I use a web application, um, .NET Framework, it's the easiest and fastest way and I call this one MDI. Now the project is created in the background and I'm closing this uh, have it a fresh compile so we can open uh, the main form and there we go this is uh, the MDI window but at the moment it's not an MDI window yet I'll have to uh, click is MDI container and now it's an MDI window and you can already see that it's a tapped MDI and we have some samples visible here uh, next thing I want to do is um, look at the MDI tab properties first of all the alignment has to be on the top I would like the, uh, the tabs of the MDI on the top um, okay, I want to allow the user to move tabs with the mouse and uh, everything else. Oh, this one is important. Show MDI child menu. If I set this to true, I can put uh, main menus on child windows and have them appear as a pop-up menu on the tabs. But I will come back to this later. Okay, this is uh, it um, for the MDI menu, um, uh, MDI tab properties. And now I'll add a new item. This time it's a YSJ.NET empty window. Uh, I'll leave it at uh, the name window2. Yes, I've trusted. And here's my child window. So um, I'm going back to the first window, open up the code. Yeah, oh no. And in the main window, I double click to get the load method. And in, in, inside here, I'll uh, create a new form. The form that I want to create is the child menu. This form has to be uh, informed that um, the MDI parent is the main form and of course I want to show it. Now when I run this application I see the MDI window and I see the child window. Okay but what I don't like is that I uh, am able to let this float around so let's get back to the main form in design mode and right here I go to form border style and I set it to none so I got rid of the caption of the window and now I set the window state to maximized and run the application again now I have a maximized window and uh, uh, the second window that I created is shown as a child window of the main window and its caption is put on the top. If I want to change this, I go back to the second window, which is the child window, and uh, I set the text to my child window. If I can type correctly, which I can't, my child window, if I run this, I see right here my child window okay so far so good but i want to have a main menu on the mdi window so i use the main menu put it here and edit some menu items Okay, that should be fine for now. Run the application, see what, what we've got. There we go, here's our main menu.
this can have submenus as well, of course. On the child window, I can do the same. The child window uh, gets the main menu. Main menu, there it is. Okay. This one. Uh, one menu item and a check menu item should be uh, okay. So I see these uh, menu items right here on the top but they will disappear as soon as this becomes a child window. Let's see um, how that looks like. We have the main menu from the MDI parent and we have the child menu of the child. Now, is that cool or what? So this is all that I wanted to tell you about the MDI windows and uh, watch out for further videos. Thank you for listening and bye bye.